Hello there and welcome to BNETTV.com. I'm Michelle Sklar. We're here with Neuro Scott. We're at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas. And we're speaking with James Sullivan. Now, for viewers that are joining us for the first time, tell us a little bit about who NeuroSky is. Okay, NeuroSky is a startup. We're actually three years old. We're a company basically that is taking technology that's been used in medicine for years, uh, EEG, biosensor technology, and applying it to the consumer markets. Fantastic. So tell us how that actually unfolds. Okay. So we take a single sensor, and uh, in medicine you have a lot of them. Uh, it's dry, so there's no mess. Uh, it's mobile, so you can move around and do things with it. And what we do is is essentially read brain waves. We don't read minds, but we read brain waves. Okay. Now, of course, we had a chance to speak with you once before, mm -hmm. and we sort of had the example in more of a gaming environment, if you will, where we saw some people with sort of some headgear, if you will, sure. and they were able to sort of. I think there was a demonstration when they were manipulating some objects, mm -hmm. as well as showing, showing some gaming ideas. Is that exactly. correct? That's right. Now, we also have um, the understanding that there are other uses for this particular technology. Why don't you tell us a little bit about other markets and other types of consumers that this technology is used in. Sure. Yeah, gaming is the one that jumps off the page. It's a big market and so many people are involved in it. But the uh, technology can be applied in a lot of other ways. Um, we have some humanitarian applications that we are, are very serious about. We think the technology will work well. And that would be, for example, building simple games for uh, a child with ADD or ADHD to be able to play a game, measure focus, be rewarded for focus and create kind of a biofeedback loop where they'd learn how to focus and, and everything would work from right. there. So right. that's one of them. Um, the other thing we can do easily is um, detection of your, your mental state. How alert are you? Um, are you paying attention? So there are some very good safety applications uh, around driving and operating equipment that can be, uh, okay. be used okay. with our technology. So let's sort of take it back a notch here. We were talking about um, children with special needs, if you will, that mm -hmm. can make use of this type of technology. Sure. Would this be something that you would see within sort of the educational institutions? Yeah, exactly. Uh, it could be, uh, number one, applied to education games, and there's a big market in the, there today. Uh, and it could be applied to the classroom, where uh, you could use our technology to be able to help determine the focus level of students and then do things to increase the focus level. So right. that's certainly one of the areas. So how does something that is wireless measure brainwaves? Well, it's, it's wireless in the sense that that's how we'll communicate with the application in a lot of cases. It can, it can also be a wired technology. But we do have a, uh, you would have a headset or something, and very often you have a headset associated with gaming or, a, or other applications, and you'd have a single sensor that would rest just against your temple. And so we're actually touching the temple in one spot, reading brain waves, and then transmitting that data to whatever application we're, we're dealing with, whether it's wireless or not. Right. Can you tell us a little bit more about the types of technologies you've used to create NeuroSky? Sure. Um, there's two basic technologies. One is a chip technology, and it's uh, the hardware piece of it. And that's all about listening and filtering and focusing in on the data we want, because brainwaves are very, very faint. We register them in microvolts. Right. So one of the things we have to do is filter out all the ambient noise, lights, people, everything else. And so that's one piece of it. And then the other is the software side, the firmware side. And that's some very sophisticated algorithms that allow us to then determine what the brain waves we're reading mean. Right. Now, James, you're at the Consumer Electronics Show. Yes. How does, how does NeuroSky fit in with Consumer Electronics? Well, uh, we're here because there's a broad range of potential partners for us. We're a technology provider, first of all. So no, we're not building applications themselves. We want to be able to work with application providers and content providers to integrate our technology and then make offerings into gaming, into the, the mobile space, uh, and, and that sort of thing. So, so CES for us is just a tremendous hotbed of potential partners. Fantastic. So let's talk a little bit about your business model. How are you marketing this particular product? Well, you know, being a young startup company, we're very focused in our marketing. Uh, we have, uh, we go to certain shows, we talk to people 
they look at our technology. In most cases, they're pretty amazed. And, uh, and then we work very one-on-one -on -one with them. It's not a broad marketing effort as much as it is a very highly targeted effort. Right. So how is it a sustainable business model that you've come up with for the growth of your company? We think we're just scratching the surface when we talk about gaming and some of the other applications. We believe that our technology will, in, in some time, uh, be ubiquitous. So we see a very broad range of products and commercial products, etc., that would uh, that would benefit from being able to put the the mental state of a user of a customer right. into the equation. Right. When we get a chance to speak with you again, James, are there any new products that we'll be able to talk about? Anything new that's coming down the pike that you can give us a little bit of insight on? We're um, we're kind of a a very quiet company right now. So again, our efforts are very focused. We have recently announced uh, relationships with Sega and Musonaut, two, two companies. Other than that, both our development and the partners we're dealing with right now is pretty tightly held. Hush, hush. Yes. So we do have to wait till next time to the find next, out the scoop. The next time I'll be happy to share That's anything fantastic. I can. That's fantastic. Fantastic. James, thank you so much. We've been here speaking with James Sullivan of NeuroSky. We're here at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas. And I'm Michelle Sklar with BNETTV.com.